Does gratitude change other people in your environment or does it change your lens and your outlook? Last week we were traveling and we flew to Chicago and went to a car rental place. And our experience was really horrible there, you guys. I had a really, really bad attitude there because they were just not co cooperating and not giving us really what we thought we ordered, right? No flexibility. No flexibility. Customer service was just killing everything. And on top of it, I was not happy with that. I was asking to um, modify certain things because we chose certain package. They didn't agree with us. There was a charges and on top charges, right? Hidden fees Hidden that fees. we didn't know about because it was in the fine print. And, you know, from all of that was interesting because we got a truck as a rental car. A gas goes low. They actually chose it for us. We didn't choose it. And I was not having it. I was like, I'm not coming to this state ever again. I'm not coming to this rental place ever again. This is sucks. Like Illinois sucks. <laughs> it's not good. Like really. Whew, like I don't want to have this experience ever again. And who rents a truck? That's just stupidest idea ever. We need economy car, a small one. It's just two of us. We're going to be driving back and forth. We're driving from Chicago to Indiana. And so we walked out of there. They would not do anything. They will not compromise. And we walk out of there disappointed and still decide to take that truck because my husband is a patient kind. And I was like, whatever, we signed the agreement. It just is what it is. Yeah. We know, we'll know better for next time. Lesson learned. And, you know, as we were driving, I just lost it. I was just crying and thinking, what? Like, I don't, this is not fun. This is not fair at all. And then I remember the driving and the father's voice in my ear saying, receive the blessing. This is the upgrade you asked for. And I remember the prayer. I was asking the father to give us an upgrade on this trip. So as I as we're driving and I'm looking around in this truck, and I was like, whoa, this is a luxury truck. It was a 2022 Dodge Ram Longhorn Special Edition. Probably yeah. upwards of a seventy-five thousand dollar plus yeah. truck. Could, could be 90000 Could be 90 truck. depending upon the options. And so as I started looking and I said, Jesse, these leather seats are real leather, not a pleather kind of, you know, the full leather, whatever you want to call it. And then I look and I said, oh my gosh, look at the detail. Oh, and we're driving and it's so smooth. Like you don't even feel the bumps on the, on the road. Right? It was driving so beautiful. It drove like a queen. It was quiet. And even through traffic, it was just amazing. Beautiful navigation, beautiful, smooth driving. And it dawned on me. I was like, you know what? I repented. And I said, Father, forgive me for not receiving this blessing. I receive it. I see it now as an upgrade. And I'm grateful. There's something in this that's the father's blessing and his provision for us and protection. And what do you know? The whole trip was a blessing. That track served us so well. We were able to even take our Amish family for a ride, multiple people. And it was amazing. We loved it. Then on the way back, when we were returning that truck, we walked in and right away, I greeted them with a smile, started asking them questions that forming them, forming them, which is, you know, asking questions that are personal. 
And they were just smiling and kind and grateful and happy and uh, provided us great service. And they were the same people that were there when we got the truck. And so we walked out of there, you know, thank them for a great choice for us. And we were taking a shuttle back to, to the airport. And even the, our driver was so amazing. We connected with him. He even shared his story with us. And after all, we, we gave him a tip for providing great service for us. And so at the end of it, we realized how amazing the shift in your attitude can provide you the experience, right? Of whatever. Yeah, I mean, as, as, soon, as soon as gratitude was expressed, it was like people were bending that over backwards to serve mm -hmm. us and to bless us and to give us extra to go above and beyond. Yeah. And when there was no gratitude expressed, man, it was like bumping into a brick wall. You yeah. Just, you can't win. In answer to the question I asked previously, does it shift your environment and the other person or your lens through which you see things? Both. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Both is the example. So go create your environment and your atmosphere in your life by sowing seeds of what you want to harvest. Mm -hmm. I love it. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.